Hello friends, here's the guide on how to customize the control center on iPhone and add more controls to the control center for quick access like a torch, calculator, screen recorder, voice memo, do not disturb low power mode, and more. Watch the video till the end to know important tips on the control center. To customize the control center like rearrange the shortcut icons or add a new shortcut or remove the shortcut from the control center, open the settings app on iPhone. Now, scroll and tap on the control center. Here's the list of all active and inactive shortcuts in the list. First section will see all active shortcuts, then you will see the inactive list. Tap on the green plus button to add controls in the control center here I am adding screen recording for an example. Screen recording is added, and then we can rearrange an order by drag it to the up or down direction. Once you set, the control center is updated with new control. Repeat the same step to add more control. Now, open the control center from the top right corner of the screen on no home button iPhone. But the home button iPhone users can open the control center by swipe up the finger from the bottom edge of the iPhone screen. Right now I can access the control center on the home screen and lock screen only, but won't within the app like this, so allow settings for access the control center within apps. Move back to the iPhone's control center settings and enable the toggle to allow within apps toggle to green. Now, I am able to open the control center from any screen of the iPhone, the same settings are also available on older iPhone models and iPad. In the recent iOS update, you can see the show home controls toggle under the control center toggle. Just enable it and see all home accessories controls in the control center. Here you will see all home accessories controls for home accessories and scenes. That's really useful and important for all iPhone users. Keep in mind that, you have to customize the control center every time when you reset all settings on your device or buy a new iPhone or iPad. That's great features for all iPhone users and iPad users. Also, Mac OS users can use a control center like iOS. Here's my video on how to use and customize control center on Mac, running on Mac OS Big Sur or later Mac OS update, here's my video. That's it. Hope you get the solutions in this video, so thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. Also, comment on me to get more help from us.